Welcome to the course and to these video clips where I will explain certain aspects of didactics. The literature includes this book by Werner Jank and Hilbert Meyer, two German didactics, and the literature also includes this book that is edited by Anna Kvortrup and Merete Wiberg, two Danish researchers. In ancient Greece and Rome, didactics meant to teach, but it could also mean to learn. And this is evident in the modern understanding of the concept didactics. Obviously, you can learn without teachers, but teaching without learning makes no sense. One of the first persons to write about teaching and talk about didactics was Johann Amos Comenius in the 16th century. He wrote the book Didactica Magna and he set out to teach every single person everything. Now Comenius was a man of God, so to him it meant teaching students to understand and follow the Bible. If we skip ahead past the Enlightenment and into modern times, today we would perhaps say that teaching aims at empowering, enlightening the students to free them from the shackles of ignorance. <laughs> 